Just a quick video to show how to update the remote panel firmware on an RCT inverter. Um, it basically works very similar to the control board firmware update. Um, have a look out in the box of the inverter for a cable looking like this. Now you have the serial port on the one end and the network RJ45 port on the other. Um, you need to use the cable that came with the inverter in the box. Um, do not buy a cable online because the pin outs for that cable is different. Um, please do use the one that's provided with the inverter. Now obviously this will connect to a desktop PC. Majority of the desktop PCs have this port. Um, in this case where I'm trying to use a notebook that do not have a serial port you need to get your converter cable. Now in this case the two cables will join and this will in the end give you the RS485 port on the one end with the USB port on the other. Um, so the RJ45 port will go cable will go to your communications port on the inverter and then the other end the USB will go to your USB port if you're using watch power to monitor the inverter make sure you close it now even though I closed it now and it does not display in the taskbar do go to your shortcut tabs to your right your shortcut icons um, you will see watch power is actually running in the background um, that will occupy your USB port on the notebook and that will actually interfere with the firmware update so do make sure you right click and press exit so that when you press on the shortcut keys here that watch power do not display there after you've received the firmware um, and you open up the file you will notice inside the file you will have this remote panel reflash tool click on that make sure your com port at the top automatically detect um, it might sometimes happen that if it does not automatically detect um, I find it better to just close the program and open it again till it automatically detects if it automatically detects it's ready to go now only update your MCU do not update the DSP um, updating the DSP will end in the unit having no display at all um, and the only way to get it up and running again is by updating the MCU again um, so going forward please do only update the MCU and completely ignore the DSP now you can see it's starting the firmware update with the blue bar running over there and you will have your percentage to your right um, leave it running it's going to take about let's say for argument's sake 15 minutes to reach 100% um, when you reach 100% uh, we basically done um, see you at 100% we're on 99% just about done there we go 100% com was closed and as I've mentioned previously do not update the DSP press exit and you're basically done um, you would have noticed that while the firm the firmware was updating that the display would have been dead on the inverter um, note it's coming on back on again when the firmware is done